Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Tuesday, April the 28th, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. In order to believe in the great news of salvation, one must first acknowledge that one is lost and needs saving. We find the story of our lostness and what that means in the creation accounts of the Holy Scriptures in the book of Genesis. Genesis 1, 26-27 says, Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in His image. In the image of God He created them. Male and female He created them. This account emphasizes that we, humankind, are created in the image of God. It doesn't mean God looks like us. It means we are spiritual creations intended by God to be in relationship with God. God gave us purpose, and that purpose was to be lived out in close relationship with God. Then Genesis 2 and 3 tells us what went wrong. While God created us in God's image, God also gave us free will, or the ability to choose. Genesis 2, 16 and 17 says, And the Lord God commanded the man, You may freely eat of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat it you shall die. We were given a choice, live out God's purpose in close relationship with God, or rebel against God and die. Genesis 3 tells us how that all went. I'll leave you to read that on your own, but be sure to read the part where Satan tells the woman concerning the temptation to choose wrongly. You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God. The bottom line is, we made a bad choice. Instead of living out God's purpose for us, we rebelled and wanted to become like God. We weren't satisfied with being the image of God. We wanted to become God. This is the root of what we have come to call original sin. All sin has its origin in ignoring God's will for our lives and following our our own will, and even imposing our will on others. The consequence of our sin is described in verse 24 of chapter 3. God drove out the man, and at the east of the Garden of Eden he placed the cherubim and a sword flaming and turning to guard the way to the tree of life. A barrier has been placed between us and our relationship with God. This barrier is our sin, the sin of choosing to go our own way and to do our own thing, rather than living our uh, out God's purpose for our lives. Another way of saying this is we misuse our free will. Rather than reflecting the image of God in our lives, we live life to satisfy ourselves. Do you know what it's like to be separated from God? If so, you know what it's like to be lost and perishing. You know the meaning of hell. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, help us to find our way back to a close relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.